Hey guys, this is Barbie Kalev. I wanted to make a video about what equipment you will need in order to do the master's hammer and chisel program. So uh, this is my office space. I have a small office that is a step mill for cardio, but this is my little office. That's it, that's all I have, right? Not very much space. So you can work out at home if you live in an apartment. Um, okay, let's get to it. So you will need a good selection of weights. I personally use the Select Tech weights. They're right here. I think I paid about $250 to $300. It's worth the investment, especially if you live in an apartment and you don't want to um, take up all the space with weights. So one of the drawbacks of having these weights is that sometimes you have to move quickly from set to set and so you have to stop to move the weights, to change the weights from like 15 to 17 pounds, for example. But it's just a minor little thing. And for me, it's totally worth it because I am kind of a neat freak and I do not like to have stuff all over the place. So I personally use, people ask me this all the time, what weights do you use, Barbie? And I don't know your strength. I can't tell you what you're going to use, but I personally use anywhere from 5 pounds. Well, I'll tell you, 5, 7, 10, 12, 15 17, 20, and 25 pound weights. So if you're gonna have to buy um, uh, individual dumbbells and money is an, is an issue, I would say get five, 10, 12, 15, and 20 if you're a woman, and then you can move from there. That's just what I would recommend, but really I freaking love my select text, and I got them a long time ago. Um, the next thing, you need either a pull-up bar or bands. Our doorways are very high. So I don't know if it's impossible to have a pull-up bar, but it sure would be ugly to have one up here in between the living room and my office. So I haven't really fully explored the, the option, but I don't wanna have a pull-up there. So I use bands and really, the green one is the one that provides great resistance for me. I think it's 40 pounds resistance. You can check them out online on you know the Beachbody website. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can send me a message and I'll send you a link. But the red one is light resistance and you will use that for stretching. The green one is the one that I use to do pull-up motions and chin-up motions. And then finally, my husband is awake, I just heard him. Finally, you will need either a stability ball or a bench. My first week of Master's Hammer and Chisel program, I started out with a stability ball and I just felt like I was really missing out. With the bench, you can, you can do more things, it's more fun, you can go deeper, and I felt like I could get a better booty workout when doing the step-up type exercises. Absolutely loved it. But if you love it, if you have only a stability ball option for now, because it is $200 to get your bench, um, that's totally fine. You work with what you have, you guys. So that is all you need. And again, you don't need a lot of space. You just need a little space to do your workout. And you're going to freaking love the Master's Hammer and Chisel program. So see you later. Hope this was helpful.